Hi, my name is Vilna Furstenberg and welcome to my first ever blog video. I created this cut file a while ago and I'm so in love with it and I literally woke up this morning decided that I want to make a video to show you what a beautiful thing you can make with it. And you can find it on iHeart Studio, the link will be um, in the related products. So I have a tutorial on how to cut it out with either a SVG file or a PNG file and it cuts beautifully. I did two cuts, one with um, just light paper and one with heavy paper. So I'm just taking my trial run and um, I, you want to trace the hearts. So that's the first step to making this page is we're just going to lightly trace the hearts with a pencil and like I said, I used the trial run die cut so that if I make a mess, it's not on my good good one. And then we want to, um, we're going to paint. So I'm using gouache and I'm really having a love affair with gouache at the moment. I think because of the watercolor effect, but the colors are so vivid and and so opaque so i just love it so my white gouache is um um gone and done and empty so the next best thing to mix if you want to use some white is just to use some gesso so that's exactly what i suggest you do if you have a problem like i did uh with white and my white is always the first of all the paints uh, to go I just love mixing white into everything I, I think it softens it it makes it more subtle and just all in all pretty so while I'm squeezing out paint let me tell you a little bit of what I was thinking is the short answer is we're gonna make a big mess um, behind this cut file and you can't really see the hearts traced there because it's a little light but you'll see I'm going to roughly paint the hearts in and I'm just using a paper plate which is a fantastic little um, palette you can just throw it away so that's why I love using plates so I'm mixing the red with the gesso and it's making a beautiful pinkish red and now I'm just gonna paint and then we're going to make a mess so this is like a little mini art class for you and again if 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 you just want to play with me I'm um, using your white cardstock I'm using American craft heavyweight cardstock this is really cheap a cheap palette to use and if it if it doesn't work you just throw it away that's how simple it is what I didn't show in the video is um, I, I made two or three sheets um, tr in a trial run just to figure out more or less what colors I want to use mostly and they all are beautiful you can use uh, shades of yellow orange red you can go with the greens you can go with pinks it's literally up to you I felt in such a good mood today that I decided to go with um, more of a like a rainbow colors like all the colors so you can see I'm painting on the heart and then I'm dripping it in water and just splashing it all over the place and that's basically the plan for all the hearts it's just to paint the little little bit of it um, and then splattering the rest of the paint and you can see my paint was becoming a little messy so I just used another paper plate and I'm using a lot of water and just let it drip this is actually not the right brush to use this is called a flat brush and you really want to use a round brush but I switched a little later on and it worked perfectly right also um my whole goal here is not to be cautious but to be super messy 
um, the only thing that you might need to do is change out your water and you'll see I have a couple of canned fruit bottles lined up where you can't see that was the most perfect splatter ever and I wish I could do that with all of them where a drop of water falls into the wet paint and it just splashed so I was so happy when that happened but anyway um, I have a couple of bot bottles of water so that I don't have to run out and um, change get new water you can see there I'm just grabbing a new one and and I think that's a good idea to have two or three um, water bottles ready just to so that you maintain your paint integrity so that it's clean um, this was really so much fun to make I think the video is a little light but you'll see in the photographs later on how vivid the paint is so it's so vivid it's so rich it's so beautiful and then when you add the white cut on top of it it just makes it so clean and it quiets it down and makes so much beautiful white space that um, my heart sang I'm sorry but I get so excited about doing things like this and you know what if you count the dollars on this page it's really um, it's really a, a, a very economic way to scrapbook and that's the one thing that I've always always felt about mixed media is the moment you add a little mixed media to your page it makes it so interesting it makes it so fascinating and it really saves you money anyway so I'm mixing a little bit of green in there because I want that mint green and then you can see the colors are flowing there and if your colors are flowing a little too much you can just use a paper towel and just dab them a little so now I'm just using pure water splattering it on there and playing and painting and making a mess right there you can see I'm switching to the round brush at last I discovered the, the error in my method so yeah even um I can have blonde moments now and then even though I am blonde so I'm almost done with it and you can see um, it's getting happier and happier as I want to call it um, just with um, using as many colors uh, as I want to I think the red just gives it that perfect amount of pop and now you just want to place it somewhere to let it dry you can see a little bit better how vivid the colors are and once it's dry um, I just dabbed it with a paper towel because there were, there were spots that wasn't a hundred percent dry and once you put your cut over it look at that it's just magical it's so pretty and fun and I might and might not have squealed with the light so I'm using a photograph of Tia that I trimmed a little smaller and I just want to matte it because I want a white border my paper trimmer was um, there were so many products and stuff on it that I didn't want to get it out so I just I'm just gonna eyeball it and just cut it out but right now I'm looking for scissors <laughs> I'm always surprised that in a scrapbook room I can never find scissors so I'm just cutting it out and I'm gonna adhere it with um, photo corners which I love lately and I'm also gonna adhere my die cut to the background paper with just a couple of hot glue dots so you can use just pop dots you can I think a pop dot will be beautiful to give a little bit of dimension but it's super easy just to place it and at least you know it won't fall off and I'm just gonna here and there put a little bit of hot glue and now I'm gonna add my photograph
So you can see I'm moving it around to find the right spot and I decided to do it just there. And that's a piece of hot glue that got stuck on my page but I figure a way out later meaning I cut it off. So that's dear Lizzie um, her beautiful new collection and I'm looking for something I want to add a little bit of uh, embellishment cluster if you may that I love to do and I do it lots so I decided to use the balloon and I'm going to just add some things around it some epoxy flowers I think these are from Studio Calico and now just little things you know what at this stage um, it's take give and take you place something on the page and you take it away to see how it works with the idea or the vision that you have for your page and um, I added a couple of stickers um, I love this dear Lizzie those hearts are so pretty with the they look like puffy hearts and I'm just going to um, really embellish but carefully I don't want to crowd it I don't want to overdo it just the right amount so it's a Cinderella no not Cinderella who Goldilocks page not too much not too little just right so I'm writing heart uh, in Afrikaans the word heart is spelt h-a-r-t heart and and I felt it's applicable because there's so much heart on this page so I'm just using a strip of hot glue and I'm just going to add my letters even though they are um, they have adhesive to them I often found that I don't know for some reason letter stickers does not work they fall off after a time so I love to just add a little bit of hot glue to that and now I'm using some um, wood veneer hearts and I'm just going to add a couple of those again around that cluster of embellishment and uh, I decided to paint some of the hearts white so there's a little piece that didn't cut out so I just removed it so you'll see I'm gonna take some acrylic paint and now I'm going to paint some impasto on two of the hearts or three of the hearts and just carefully paint on it they paint lovely and I'm using some thick paint on there and be sure that it dries completely before you do anything with the page otherwise you're gonna smudge it and I, don't ask me how I know all this just trust me on this I think the white hearts is almost like the positive to the negative cut and I just love love that adding some stickers I think these are little letters by my mind's eye I'm not exactly sure but I'll link the products for you in the related products of my blog and now the big mammoth task to select the right background paper and in the end I wanted something with text so it was a process to find the right page and then I decided to because I'm scrapbooking this absolutely for me to use this amazing paper by seven gypsies um, if you have been scrapbooking for a long while you'll uh, you'll recognize it and I have a whole pack of them in my cupboard but you can't buy them anymore well not to my knowledge so I just wanted something really textured and text um, just with text 
because I think it will be a beautiful frame for this page and I'm just folding over the edges almost like folding it over and flattening it down again and there my page is almost done I'm just going to add my journaling um, and I'm writing it with a sharpie on my photograph because I don't know that's where I found space I guess and I'm careful not to touch the wet paint because the paint is still wet and honestly I think in the end um, this page feels like it's out of a storybook to me I love it I think I'm going to frame it and give it to Tia for her room or I'll just keep it on my board and just look at it for a little while I'm really happy um, how it turned out and I hope you enjoy the cut file so I hope you like it um, what else oh I'm just gonna stamp on it with this lovely stamp that I bought I think it's pebbles that makes it I'll have uh, the link in the related products for you and I'm using the Heidi swap black ink I love this ink I love it I think I haven't um, used ink black ink that I've loved I don't know all my tenses are wrong in the sentence bottom line is I love this ink and I haven't found anything that I love as much in a long time so I'm just writing on that um, big stamp oh how I love you and I'm just testing it out before I'm going to stamp on my page with it this is the first time that I'm using it and I have had it for a long time so I'm just stamping a little and that's again just to bring the text of the background into the page there's the details you can see how lovely it is of course you can use pattern paper at the back of the die cut I think there's a million ways to make it work thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye